Hey guys, Slink here with another video and I just wanted to give you an update on how the studio is looking. I've got all the panels up and it's sounding great in there. Let's check it out. <laughs> Whoa, snap. Look at all these panels. So cool. Uh, let me give you a little spin around. I'll put a few posters up and stuff. It's looking really cool in here and it sounds a lot better for sure. So what I've got is uh, these corner panels are two foot wide and they're two and a half inches thick and mounted in the corner they sort of trap the base. Um, also the air behind the corner panel um, helps trap the base as well. So I've got one there and one there in the corners and then I've got these three on the sides and that's for my first and second reflection points. So when audio comes out of the speaker it actually travels this way and bounces off of the wall and then back to my listening position. And um, same with the other speaker, it will also send audio this way. And the second reflection point is a little bit further down. So um, I just mounted three there, and that should help with um, sort of low, low mids all the way up to the highs, because they're two inches thick. Um, and then on the back wall, these are one inch thick, one foot by one foot squares in a checkerboard pattern. And uh, basically when audio comes from here, it, some of it will get absorbed like the high frequencies so you get less of that like ringing when there's like a, a loud snap or something like that but it doesn't absorb, absorb everything um, it'll still sound a little bit kind of live in here you know back here it will sound live so it's kind of a versatile setup which is pretty cool and then I also got um, a couple of tall skinny ones mounted there as well just for some extra reflection absorption coming from the back wall to the front wall and I spent about a thousand, one thousand one hundred dollars on all this stuff. And uh, ideally, I would have some bass traps in these corners, the back corners as well. Um, but I can't afford them right now. So, <laughs> so what I did is I just got like a door hanger thing and just hung up all my onesies. And <laughs> I mean, it's not the greatest, but it, it will help a little bit because basically, basically, um, bass will travel. Um, it likes to travel down walls and then collect in the corners. So I'm thinking um, the base should have to pass through my onesies um, and will hopefully absorb some of that. And uh, there's just not much I can do with this corner right now, so uh, we'll just have to deal with it. It's not a perfect setup, um, but for $1,100 is not too bad. Also, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've got these cool isoacoustic speaker stands and that's to raise the speakers up to my ear level so my ear level is right where that Fostex logo is um, right between the two uh, drivers what this will also help to do is isolate the sound from the speakers and stop it from vibrating my desk because the desk will actually turn into a speaker sort of and vibrate and create more sound and it'll be coming up like this and it'll mess with uh, how I'm perceiving the sound so that will really help with that and they actually move back and forward a little bit as the speaker is driving. Um, and that sort of helps tighten up and clear up the highs and mids. And they sound great. <laughs> now check this out. This is the best thing. I got a sub pad. Son, where'd you find this? So cool. If you guys have never heard about these things, basically, uh, basically again, <laughs> uh, basically it like vibrates um, into your back. So when you're sitting on the chair, um, you'll feel the bass in your back. And this thing goes all the way down to something like 10 hertz. 10 hertz! So deep. I'm gonna get the bends. <laughs> um, but yeah, it makes it really makes you feel, it almost tricks your brain into thinking that you're hearing the bass, but you're just feeling it. You know like when you're at a festival and you can feel the bass like in your chest and stuff? It kind of does that. And it's amazing. And uh, yeah, there's just straps that like strap it to the chair. And then there's a little control panel here for you to plug in your audio input. And then there's also a headphone out. So if you want to listen with your headphones, you can. But there's also a intensity knob here. So if it's too bassy and you think you're, you know, feeling the bass too much or it, it's like an unnatural amount of bass that you're feeling, um, you sort of got to calibrate it. But yeah, you can turn it down or up or however you like it. And then there's a charging cable here but it's battery powered, so you can charge it and then throw it in a backpack 
and then cruise around feeling the bass, which is super cool. This thing is so cool. Um, but yeah, that's my new studio. Thanks for watching, and more videos are coming soon. Peace!